G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thank you so much for being here today with me. I am going to do a turtle. Oh, look, my nail polish matches again. I wonder if that's just subconsciously that I'm doing that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I've got my turtle mold. This is my small turtle mold as, a, as opposed to my giant turtle mold. And um, I've got this got this necklace or chain of blue stones, turquoise stones, not exactly sure what they are called, but and I'm, it seems a bit of a waste to use them for a turtle, but I bought them to use in resin projects, so I'm going to use them today. I've got some blue ones, some of them come in long lengths, some are just come in sort of short lengths, um, I've got some sort of blacky, browny, no, greyish tone ones, I've got some like tiger's eye ones, and what have I got here, this is, this is just like a, I've only got one of these ones, T mm, beigey brown tones, and then this one's blues and white, so yeah, I've got quite a lot of them, and I thought, I'd better start using them and I thought well I'm going to use them use this one in my turtle now I'm not going to put the eyes in now because I know a lot of people struggle with putting the eyes in me included you've seen me lose an eye and it's ended up in the head so today I am going to show you how to put the little glass eyes in afterwards yes afterwards so we're not going to risk anything falling off and dropping into the bottom of the head so it looks like a cyclops <laughs> all right so we're going to do that later so we shall get started i'm just going to pop that in there actually i might not need that oh, it depends on how much resin i've got i'm not sure how much i've got um this is the platinum river table resin and i did 75 grams of a and 32 grams of b so i've got 107 grams. Um, I'm, I can't decide if I want to do a different colour for the flippers. I may do that depending on how far up the resin comes. <sighs> I thought I had cleaned it. Maybe, maybe I'll <sighs> give it a blow. Anyway, I may put it in there um, just because it's going to take 24 hours to cure with the river table resin and then it, like, I can pick it up and move it around if I want to use this area. But uh, we'll see how much, see how much resin um, it's going to take. Otherwise, I can do a top coat in a in a lighter color or in a different color. But the problem with the top coat, unless I make a little dam, you know, with my clay, I don't want it over the top of these because you're going to lose the the color of these if I top coat it with blue. So if I do it, I'll put a little bit of clay or something in there, maybe some UV resin just to block that off. Um, fill them and then put it clear over its its body. So we'll see what happens. All right, let's put this in first. I want to put a little bit in. And the reason I'm leaving it like this is because it's kind of got a bit of height with with the um, fishing line in there. If I took them all off and dropped them in, they would just sort of sit in a little puddle down the bottom. And I don't want that. So let's just let's just see what we can do. We can chuck some in there. I need a bit of tape. There's a bit of glitter in there. There we go. Got him. All right. It's just just going to sort of chuck them in. No rhyme or reason. Just kind of get them in there. Maybe put another little bit into the the head there. How's that looking? That should be all right. So anyway, hopefully that'll look pretty, like so. Just kind of spread it out a little bit. <laughs> I thought it would be easier than it was. Oh, now I'm trying to get it up the sides. And yeah, no, I should just um, yeah, just just chuck it in there. It'll be fine. All right, now here we go with the resin. Um, nice and thin. It's, it is the River Table resin from Platinum. Um, so you can pour it up to five centimeters, two inches, which will be fine for this. Now we'll probably get a little bit of bubbles coming in, but 
they they should all come to the surface and uh, and pop by themselves. Now the tail. I always I always forget the tail. Where are your tail? I'm not going to have any stones. Oh no, it's further up. It's up here. Oh gosh, there's glitter in it. I got glitter in my tail. Obviously, when I did some, um, there he, there it is. I must have put some chameleon powder or something in the tail. It's still in there. All right, I'll give that a bit of a squeeze there. I'm going to put a little bit more in. Let's see how far up I can get it. Oops, I'm going to push the stones out. Don't push the stones out, woman. They're supposed to stay in the head. Be a really nice little art piece, you know, to pop on your coffee table. A lot of people say to me, well, what do you do with these things? You know, and I'm like, it's, it's just art. People go to the store and they might buy a big shell or like a piece of coral or, or something like that. And they'll just sit it there on the coffee table. Like, you don't have to do anything with it. It just has to look pretty <laughs> and you just, you just admire it. Just put it on your, on your coffee table, on your bookshelf somewhere for people to to admire resin doesn't always have to be useful if you know what i mean like a practical useful it can just be useful to look at to be beautiful to look at i'm just going to play with this a little bit and see if i can get that moving down a bit well i'll just push the resin up into that flipper again just using my little baby wipe here to get it out of that flipper So I think that's that's as high as I will get it for now. Oh gosh, 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 gosh. You know the other thing you can do, if you do want, I'm just talking through here, if you do want your flippers to be a different colour, but you don't want a different colour in here, you can just dust them with a little bit of mica powder, a little bit of... Um, chameleon powder, anything you like really. Um, yeah, just to get a little bit of colour into those flippers. So maybe I can do that. What do you think? I keep pushing that up and then I have to clean it again. <laughs> um, oh gosh, 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 gosh. I'm just trying to decide here whether I want to have clear flippers, in which case I'll put the rest of that in. Or if I want to have a little bit of colour, I in the flippers I need to do it now, I need to dust them now. Um, but I'm worried that the dust will fall into the wet resin. Oh look, let's, let's just do this. Let's just fill it up with clear. Might have to make it a little bit more. Less is more sometimes, and you've heard me say it before. The, the, the beauty is going to be in the stones here, and I think, like, I don't want to add too much and have it competing with those gorgeous gemstones. Do not torch, okay? Don't torch. The, it's too thin, um, like, the, uh, in here. Like there's only a tiny little bit of resin, you will fuse your resin to your mold. Do not torch. If you've got some bubbles, you can just use your isopropyl spray and spray on the top. But like I said, the um, because it's a, a river table resin, it's a very thin resin. Um, the bubbles will come up really easily, not like it does with a thick resin. Now I need to push something into the tail because I always get a bubble in my tail. There we go. Push it in. Hopefully, I don't have a bubble in my tail. Hard to see. Like, you can't see if it's in there or not, but all you can do is push it in there and hope for the best. Okay? Don't forget your tail. All right, so that's pretty much me done. I am just going to make up a tiny little bit more resin um, and just to fill it up. 
and uh, actually I'll pop this in here before it gets too full like so there we go all right and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the unmolding and um, I'll choose some eyes actually, what eyes which, which eyes do I want let's have a look let's have a look and see what looks nice with turquoise now I tend to use um, you can either use a six mil six millimeter or an eight millimeter eye now it is just a sticky bit of paper there with the eye printed on it so if you peel that off you're gonna lose your eye okay these are eight it's an eight millimeter eye oh look at that one that's pretty it's like playing like playing um, fish <laughs> you got to match your eyeballs <laughs> Uh, okay, there's two there. I tend to do um, turtles with a round like um, pupil like that only because I think the ones on an angle like that are more like lizard or dragon like but um, you know you can use what you want there's there's a matching pair of those and because we're going to put them in afterwards we can actually be pretty certain about which way they're going to to go now this one here see this one here I don't know if you can see that that one's really small that one really looks like a lizard this one's not too bad I could get away with that for a turtle but not that one I think that's more lizard or snake like okay turn them all over gosh and once I picked one I really liked and I couldn't find the matching one I must have dropped it somewhere Hopefully I can find another one of those. Don't want that one. Come on, where are you? I've only got four left to turn over. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there it is. It's right there. And I didn't see it. Okay, so those two are nice sort of turquoisey colours. If you want turquoise. Um, otherwise, we could do this one. Because there's some blue and some turquoise in there. Where's the matching one though? Is that it? Get out. That's it there. Okay, so we could do those, those, or those, I think would be nice. Yep. All right, let's get you down and we'll have a little closer look at these little eyeballs. So, yep, yeah, eight millimeters. So, there's those ones. Those ones those ones so these have got a little bit more blue in them and these got a the little bit more green in them eeny, meeny, miny, mo. maybe these ones just looking at the stone color let's give that another spray there we go I think those will look quite nice anyway um, yeah probably go these all right Decision made. Decision made. I'm going to mix up a tiny little bit more resin and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for the unmolding. All right, so it's been uh, a day and a half, <laughs> about two days, and um, it is ready to demold. I have got a, a few little bubbles that have popped up. I didn't see them when I was first doing it, but it was obviously came up between all those little stones. So never mind it happens doesn't it all right now i usually start at the back don't i with the little flippers get them off and then i'll go and see if my husband can um do the dremel for me just so that i can video it for you because i can't hold the dremel and the camera and the turtle at the same time i can't all right let's pull this little thing here oops just have to get this over the little tail there we go and look there's no bubble in the tail yay <laughs> all right so that's loose get this loose pull that through there other side get that loose pull that through there be careful when you're unmolding because the edges are really sharp and they can cut you like resin can be dangerous all right just be aware that it can cut you all right, and then with the head, I just peel.
peel that back like so. And there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ready to use next time. All right. <clears throat> Are we ready? Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. It's turned out so pretty. There's the stones. And because they were on their fishing line, we've still got, you know, some coming down the sides rather than just all falling down into the middle. We've got some in the turtle, so it goes around there and over the top, which is nice. <clears throat> Leaves a little clear area for his eye, actually, which is perfect. Perfect. Hello, little turtle. Welcome to the world. All right. Now, let's see if these, I think they'll match nicely, don't you think? I think so. All right, <clears throat> let's go and find David, see if he can do the dremeling of the eyes. So what I'm going to ask him to do, um, and he's done this before for me, see where the little mound is for the eye? He's just go basically going to dremel that out and make it flat because at the moment it's got a bump there and the eye has got a little bump as well. See, it's raised. So if he just takes that bump off, I can then stick the eye back on. So it's easy. Like for, the, for those of you that are having trouble with the eyes, this is the way to go. We just cut that flat, cut the little eyeball off, stick a new eye on. Easy. <laughs> All right, let's go find him. The birds have come outside to watch us. Oh, there you go. So this is the little tool on the end of the Dremel. And it's just basically going to flatten up that eyeball. The Dremel set did come with a few little tools, like there's a little flat disc that you can use to slice through things. This could potentially use that one as well, but I'd be too scared that I'd um, slice the flipper off or something. front it looks nice and flat okay back inside and hopefully you can see that that's nice and flat now oh, oh gosh I'm trying to focus on it And that one as well, nice and flat. All right. Now I put the blue eyes out and I'm thinking they're too similar. So I'm gonna go for something contrasting. So I'm gonna go with the green, just because it was all too much the same color, you know, too similar. So I'm gonna go with the green eyes. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna use my E6000 glue and it's a new one. So you've got to use a little point on the other side there just to pierce that little film there like so. Okay, there's a bubble. Bubbles are the bane of our existence, aren't they? All right, so, gosh, it's difficult to do it with nails. A little blob there. 
I'm just see if we can kind of spread it out a little bit. Don't want too much. Otherwise, when you put the eye on, you know, it might ooze. Ooze out the other side. <laughs> no! Alright, I'm trying to do it with my right hand, you see. Okay, here we go. And uh, you can see where it needs to go because there's a nice dull area there. And look, there we go. That's easy. Nice and easy. Let's push that down. Hopefully the glue will, will stick nicely. There you go. Look at that. Oops, I'm zoomed out a little bit much, aren't I? I'm zoomed in a bit much. All right, so there's the first one. And before we had that you know dome there for the eye and we shaved it off so all we're doing now is putting the dome back so it's not like it looks weird um, but you do need to shave it shave the resin dome off first before you add your little glass eye dome otherwise yes it will look weird but this way it looks fine now I'm just going to use my left hand I'll just pop it there <laughs> it's already in that hand okay there we go and um, that's done so, <clears throat> I don't know, you may think that's a more difficult way to do the eyes. Um, but for me, who has, like I said, had an eyeball drop down and it's ended up here in the resin and then, you know, my whole turtle is wasted. Uh, this is just a more of a guarantee, really, that um, your eye is going to be where, your eye, where you want your eye to be. <laughs> And there you go. So there's our little turtle. All done. So I'll just leave him alone for a little while for him to, um, for those eyes to cure, to set. And I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm not going to add any silver. I'm just going to leave it like that because the stones in this piece are it and a bit on a stick. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the talking point. So we'll just leave it there. I'm going to get a bit of black card just to see what it looks like with black behind it. Sometimes they look nicer and other times, you know, it's nicer just to have clear, but just so that you can see what it looks like with black behind it. So there we go. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope it's been helpful for you if you've been struggling with turtle eyes. Now these are 8mm eyes, if you're looking for them, you can just search glass, glass eyes, um, something like that on Amazon, 8mm for this one. For the big turtle, either a 12mm or 14mm works for the, for the giant turtle. Alright, thank you so much for watching, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Bye for now!